Um, I'm Burcu Keskin. I'm a professor of operations management at the Coverhouse College of Business um, at the University of Alabama. I've been a member of Inform since 2002, since I was a first year PhD student. Um, and it's been a nice long journey and I've been enjoying every step of the way. Combined colloquia looks over across three different colloquia experiences, doctoral student colloquia, new faculty colloquia, as well as teaching effectiveness colloquia. And I had a wonderful team this year working with me. I had co-chairs who were organizing the content for those particular colloquia. And doctoral student colloquia is targeting second and third year PhD students and educating them in terms of the educational opportunities um, and the further career paths in terms of academia versus industry. And then if you choose academia, you can come back for the new faculty colloquia to learn about how to be a successful professor in the future. And the teaching effectiveness colloquia teaches all of the, um, our members in terms of how to be a better teacher because typically we don't have pedagogical classes in our doctoral programs and teaching effectiveness kind of teaches you how to be a more effective teacher. This is actually a hard question for me. Um, I'm originally from Turkey and when I saw this particular question, I'm like, my career is pretty straightforward. I was an engineer, industrial engineer in my undergrad, industrial engineer in my master's, and then PhD in industrial engineering, and then now I'm working in a business school, but still doing the same OR, um, same type of problems. Um, I'm originally from Turkey and switched over to US. That's a little bit surprising, but I think the most surprising thing about my career that you may not necessarily see on paper is that I'm the first engineer in my family and the first person to earn a PhD and first person to claim myself as a professor. So, you know, and that's why I think I have a softer spot for those um, who are also the first generation um, education people in their families. So being in Alabama really helps with that. I love it all. All of it. <laughs> all of it. I think, you know, what I love it most is that anybody and here in this particular conference, we have over 6,000 people, can find something um, that they're interested in, either in terms of research, in terms of socializing with people, or in terms of professional development. I really love coming back here and seeing my long-term friends. Um, I love contributing to the society and our profession in general, and I love learning new topics and and every year after every conference, I try to go home with something new and with no contacts. This is actually a very interesting question that um, I'm also struggling with. I have two youngsters at home, eight and six, and we've been using cell phones since they're born and using computers since they're born. So our next generation of students are very familiar with technology and we need to somehow find better ways to integrate technology into our classrooms and how we can show or is a big part of analytics and technology and how can we integrate that. And I think what we need to do is to integrate analytics into the curriculum and maybe even showcase some of the excellent success stories early on to those high school students. When you have a STEM degree, when you have an analytics degree, this is who you can be. And seeing some of those role models will hopefully help them decide for their own. Um, I feel quite content with regards to where I am for my career, but currently I'm more focused on more junior faculty and uh, my own PhD students. My current PhD student is on the job market this year, and if he's successfully placed at a place where he's going to be as happy as I am, I will be very happy and I will say cheers to that. I actually answered this question with, I only need two. And then my PhD student said, no, no, you need three. And she told me the third one. So the two things that I came up with is that my Kindle with million books and endless coffee supply. And then she said, you need the couch, comfortable one to sit on. So you're not gonna be very comfortable on the sand.
I use both Facebook and LinkedIn, and I typically use Facebook to keep in touch with family and friends, especially the ones in Turkey. But LinkedIn is my professional network, and it's how I keep in touch with my colleagues and um, learn about other people's successful stories. Thank you.